Welcome to the Conscious Education Podcast. On this episode, we're going to talk about how your identity works against you. And, and, and this is a really big thing for a lot of people is they don't realize that as, as you're going for what you want, there's a part of you that's actually against that. It's against it. Your, your passion, your genius is always overshadowed by your unconscious agenda. Your identity uh, has a current reality that it's quite happy with. And I know this sounds strange to say, but it's actually happy because you're alive. See, a part of you just seeks to survive. It seeks survival by belonging, belonging to your family, belonging to your tribe, belonging to society. It wants to belong. However, many times this, this belonging, this identity actually is quite uh, quite a negative or, or, or against what you want. It, it has a belief to that it believes it's not good enough. And in order to survive in the family structure, uh, it, it's been conditioned to believe it's not good enough. And so it will continue finding examples of being not good enough. In this episode, we're going to talk about this identity and what you must do to let it go and step into the creative reality. So sit back and enjoy. So guys, I'm excited about tonight uh, and what we're going to cover because the truth is, and I want you to write this down, you will never, ever, ever see what it is that you, what you want to create until you be it because your, uh, because your identity will work against you. Your identity will work against you. What, what do I mean by that? Your identity will work against you. Well, what happens is you have a current reality that has an identity attached with it and it's you. And so you set a goal. Now, the truth is, is that identity is what set that And that identity says, hey, when I have that goal, when I have that, life is going to be better. And so there's a premise. And the premise is life will be better when I have that goal. And so what happens is, is there's an identity created and the identity says, hey, you know, right now it's not good enough. And when I get there, everything's going to change. However, what you're coding into your identity and coding into your reality is, is who you are, right? It's who you are. So you're coding in that I'm not enough, that I'm not this, that all these things. And so that becomes you. Now, the body doesn't want to change. You see, the body goes, you know what? Here's how I've survived. I've survived being this way my whole life. So you set up this structure in your life that says, I'm here and this is who I am. But when I get over there, things are going to be type in a yes, if this is true. When I make a million dollars, things will be different. When I have the love of my life, be different. When I get a bigger house, a flash of car, when I, I lose some weight, when I, everything will be different. Type in a yes, if it's true. It'll be different. It'll be different. It'll be different, you say. It'll be different. And so then what happens? You work your, uh, you work your butt off right? You, you work the buff and you go out there and you get it. And let's say that you get it. Then guess what happens? So you get it. So life is better. But guess what? The identity goes, holy crap, this ain't, this ain't right. This ain't how it's been for the last 30 years. This ain't it. Right? So the identity goes, this isn't it. I don't know. This is uncomfortable. Do you know how many people say to me right before they're about to hit their goal? Hey, I don't even know if I want this anymore. Right before when they're, when they're going for it, oh, I don't know if I want this anymore. Rubbish. Then they go back to here and then they realize they do want it again and they just do this. So I want you to get this is if your identity is trying to escape itself by creating a goal, thinking that everything will be different, it's just laying a trap because the identity will never just go, oh, cool. So we're a millionaire now. So yes. So we had scarcity our whole life and it's been passed down seven generations and We've always had scarcity. We've never had enough. Uh, and that's kept us safe. And that's kept us on edge. And we've always been stressed about money. And that's who we've always been. Uh, and that, and that's, that's everything that we know. So cool. Now we've got it all good. We'll just be completely different now. <laughs> right? Identity ain't going to do that. It's going to go, this ain't right. Something's wrong, scary. Why don't we have what we've always had? And it's going to find a way to pull us back. True? True? Who's with me? Type in the true if you're with me for this, right? And so this is this is what we've got to understand is, is we've really got to get this. We've got to get that. Uh, we must be it before we see it. We must be it before we see it. Where are all my trues at? There they are. We must be it before we see it. 
We must be it before we see it. But how do we be it, Chris? Chris, how do we be it? Well, the answer is in the seed, the seed that grows the forest. You look at the seed, where's, where's the forest? It's not there, but it is there. I feel like that, um, that monkey on the Lion King when I say shit like that, eh? but it's true, <laughs> you know? <laughs> He's like, he hits, uh, he hits Simba on the head and it says, like, oh, that hurts. <laughs> He's like, but it's in the past. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but it still hurts. <laughs> That's funny. Funny, funny. True, Kerry, true. So, so here's, here's what we've got to understand. Here's what we've got to understand. Is we must be it before we see it, but how do we do that? Well, you become it now. Okay, you become it now. And so some things we don't want to let go of, the, the paradigm is this. I want to stay exactly the same, but just with more money, Chris. I want to stay exactly the same, just with a better relationship or a better body, but I want to stay exactly the fucking same. I'm not, no, Chris, no, I'll change that. I'm not willing to change that. No, 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 Chris, how is, how is my associate, how is that I just like to do that got anything to do with this? All right? No, no, I'm willing to change this and this and this and this, but, but not here. And so what we've got to understand is as you're creating a new you, you have to let go of the old you right? We have to let go of the old you. So, so type in, what are some of the things that make up the old you? What are some of the things that make up the old you? Emotions. Yep. Right on. Emotions. Type them in. What is the beliefs? Yep. F f f f friends. One of the hardest things you have to let, let go of. Type it in. Friends. <laughs> Fear too, bro. Friends, family. Right, what else? What else? Things. Things, yeah. Things, like things, like where you live. You have to give that up. All right? There's things, there's things, behaviors. Right on. Friends and family, guys, are one of those double-edged swords, Hey, eh? Like, if you want to create something new, you have to create a new relationship to them. So what you have to do is you have to let go of your old relation point, step into the new you, and create a new relation point. But a lot of them, a lot of them won't like it. Yeah, clothes, habits, a body. Yeah, carry. So a body, weight. So there's a lot. There's a lot in you. There's also memories. There's thoughts. What about this? Write this one down. And I want you to be writing this down. What makes up you? Experiences, beliefs, thoughts, learnings, lessons, the way it is. And I'm not saying that all of those can't belong in your future, but you have to be willing to give them up. You have to be willing to give them up. And we're, we're addicted to this way of being. And, and, I, and I mean that in the literal sense. We're literally addicted to it. We're addicted to it, meaning uh, the, the definition of an addiction is if you, if you can, can't go without it, right? We are literally addicted to our, our way of being, our identity, our um, persona, who we are, our personality. Is it true? We're addicted to it, right? We, we can't go without it. We need it. And without it, right, without it, we feel what's going on. And so, so today's session is about letting go of who you've been, right? It's, it's letting go of who you've been, it, it, to step into who you're becoming. And it's not, about, it's not about letting go just to step in. It's about being willing just to let go and completely let it all go. Let it go, you know. Um, a, lot of us, a lot of us say we are, but the real truth is, are you really truly willing to let it go? Uh, and and that's, that's something that we want to explore. <laughs> Let it go to grow. If it rhymes, it's normally true. Uh, your vibe attracts your tribe. <laughs> I like those. I like, I like how little sayings like that, you can read so much truth into them, but it's, but no, it's funny. So uh, back, back to what we're talking about. What are we talking about, by the way? Um, give me a bit of a recap. What are you guys getting from this? Type in something that you're getting. What are you getting from this? What's, what's good right now? What are you getting? We're going to do a big session. We're going to do a recode, but I want to help you to experience it about, you know, what's, what's true about you now with your identity, right? And this is you. And so the question is, right, is, uh, oh, Carrie, I love that. Carrie's already forgot because she let it go. You don't want to let this stuff go, Carrie. This belongs in your future. <laughs> don't let this stuff go. <laughs> This is, this is necessary. So what we want to do, guys, is um, nice, nice. 
Got, got it, Peter. That's just come through to me, by the way, Peter. No one else has seen. We hold on to things that are old identity. Right, right, we do. Thanks, Maureen. It's true. Thanks for typing that in. I really appreciate the interaction. Right, we have an identity. We have, we have it, and, and we hold on to it. We don't want it to. We don't want it to change, do we? Um, but we want new stuff, right? It's like, it's like our, our ego is like, oh yeah, cool. You can have, you can pretend that you're going to have these new things, but you're not getting rid of me. Because I am you, you are me. We're not changing. We're not being different. This is the way I am. I'm not like that. I'm not salesy. I'm not a business person. I'm not like, it's not who I am, you know? Uh, and we get stuck in this pattern of who we are. And, and we get in this, this uh, delusion of thinking that we're just going to learn something new or, or get a coaching program. We're going to add something to this and it's going to change. But fundamentally, that assumption is flawed. The assumption that I'm going to stay the same and get something new is flawed. It's completely flawed, but it's one we love to tell ourselves because it's safe, isn't it? It's very, very safe to say, you know what? I'm going to be this. I'm going to add a little bit, right? I'm just going to do a little bit, but I'm going to stay the same, you know, I'm not letting go of that. I'm not shifting that. I'm not doing that, you know? Oh, but I'll do a little bit of mindset work. You know, I'll do a little thing, um, but no, I'm not shifting fundamentally who I am. And it's bred into us a bit in society, isn't it? It's like, well, that's just not you. You're not like that. What? Right? Do you get it? Like, you're not like that. What? What do you mean I'm not like that? Who do you know who I am? Right? What they're saying is the pattern I've been interacting, the beliefs, the assumptions, the person that I've been interacting with, I haven't seen that happen yet. And, and so that you're holding on to them. They're holding on to you in that old reality as well. And so everyone's co-creating their own reality together to stay exactly where they are. And at some point, you've got to say, you know what? I've got to be different. I've got to change. I've got to step up. I'm going to do this. And uh, and that's what today's about. Today's a big session. Today's a big session. By the way, who's getting that feeling that today's a big session? Because it is. Today's a big session. Hey, Ali. Hey, so I've got some new people that just jumped on. Who just jumped on? They haven't said hi to yet. So Ali jumped in. Oh, Claire. Hey, Claire. Hey, Camille. Just saw you got on and Anne. I didn't think I got to say hi to you guys before. So guys, we're going to go, we're going to go through this. We're going to, we're going to go into it. So what we're going to do to explore this is we're going to explore first the, the reality that we want to, we want to create. And we're going to explore beliefs, assumptions, uh, the way of being, the behaviors, the emotions, the friends. We're going to explore that. And then we're going to use that to create contrast to who we are now. Right. And, and we're going to ask ourselves, well, what, what parts of this do I need to let go to be here? So let's do this. Let's do this. So guys, I want you just to just to choose what it is that you really are wanting to create. Like think about think about what it is you really, really want to create. And let's just do a little bit of it with it closed eyes. OK, we'll do it with it with closed eyes. And so so obviously, if you're driving, don't do that. So go ahead and uh, and close your eyes and and just just step into your future where you have everything everything that you desire and just just step into it and just choose choose to notice just to choose to notice what it is that you have and just keeping your eyes closed and just choose that just notice. It feels good. It feels good to have all of you choosing that. Notice what emotions are present. Just notice what emotions are present in your total, total truth. You have everything you want. Hmm. Notice what you believe. What is it that you believe about yourself? Just ask yourself, what do I believe about me when I have it all? What do you believe about the world? Just tune into some world beliefs. What do you believe about the world? What 
What do you believe about other people? And when you're ready, just open your eyes and just jot down a few things that you got. Just a few important things that stood out. Maybe type them in so I can interact with it as well. Creating is easy. Love it, Ellie. I'm grateful. Yeah, right on, Carrie. Good, good, good. Nice. There are no limits. Nice. True, Ellie. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And didn't it feel good? Uh, it is clear. Beautiful. It didn't feel good to have a whole group of us just tuning into ourselves like that. It's very cool. Freedom, total happiness, right on. Right on, Anindi. That's great. Cool, cool, cool. So, so that's great. Okay, so, so uh, I feel like everyone, everyone uh, tuned into that really well. So now, what I want to do, okay, is uh, yeah, that's true, Ali. Hey, Helena, that's cool. That's cool. Which Helena is that? I've got a few. Is that Helena? Um, let me just check. It is. Hey, good, good. Good. I've got a lot of people with the same first name on here today, so it's a little bit confusing for those, except for you, Cruz. I know it's you. Nanindi. Pretty sure I know which Nanindi it is. Okay, so now let's now let's tune into um <laughs> I'll carry. I'm I'm ready. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> Right. Right on, Peter. Love it. Okay. So now I just want us to, to without judgment, okay, because there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with your current reality. It's completely awesome. Okay. And so without, without judgment, we're just going to step into the current identity compared to that. Is, is that everyone? So we're just going to step into it. We're going to experience the contrast. That's all. Okay. We're just experiencing black versus white, pink versus green, just contrast. They're just different. Okay. It's just, it's just different. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just different. Don't get yourself into that place of uh, creating negativity to try to move yourself forward because it will not work. So go ahead and close your eyes and just step into where you're now. Okay. Just step into it now, where you are now in life, now in life. And ask yourself, what's that like? What's that like? Just choose to step into the now, step into the now, and just ask yourself, what's that like? So what emotions are present in the now? What emotions does this person feel on a day-to-day -day or weekly basis? Just, just allow those to, to sweep through you and just tune into it. What do you believe about the world? In the current reality, what do you believe about the world? The world is. Just allow the current reality beliefs to come in.
and just tune into beliefs about yourself. I am. And just, just notice. Notice the intention behind the words. For example, you finish the sentence like, I am worthy. Is the intention that you're trying to convince yourself or that you truly own it? Just, just notice what you believe about you. Just notice what's true. What do you believe about others? Just tune into this. It's an important part of the process. We've got one last question. What causes you to not change? What causes you to stay stuck? What are you scared of losing? What are you scared of losing? What is it you won't let go of? And just really tune into that. Think about that end goal and ask yourself, what are you not willing? What, is, what are you not willing in the current reality to let go of? If you try to lie to yourself and say nothing, it's a protection mechanism. You'd already be there. What are you what are you not willing to let go of? There's something. All right, open your eyes and let's get some uh, let's get some feedback. So just just maybe drop down a few notes or type it in. What was the experience like going into the now the now identity versus the future identity? What are you in truth, or what have you in the past, or what is your truth? What are you? What are you not willing to let go of? Right on. I'm scared of losing family and friends who are not coming with me. Thanks for being so courageous and writing that in. Dark and heavy. Cool. I like dark and heavy. The now identity feels very much like a work in progress. Everything is a doing verb. Yeah, that's very, very, very clear. New identity. Now identity was painful. Oh, I love a bit of painful. Fearful. I love a bit of fearful. Don't want to lose the safety I have created. It's not what you were meant for, though, was it? No one sets out to just be safe. Yeah, I still have a lot of things to learn. I'm not good enough. Love a bit of that. Right on, brother. Well done, James. Good for you, man. Good acknowledgement. It's just true. Some parts of life are hard to deal with, yeah. So what, what I need everyone who's playing full out, okay, is I need you to acknowledge there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. At the end of life, 
you know, there's no scorecard. There's just a choice. Does that make sense? There's no scorecard. It's just a choice. It's a choice, right? And apparently you get to come back and repeat till you've experienced all the different types of choices. Nice. So, so it's, it's your choice to stay and keep that identity or not. What's two weeks? Who wrote two weeks? Not sure what that means. Cool. How's everyone feeling, by the way? Do you notice, do you notice it? Uh, just, just give me a me if you notice the judgment that we have towards the current reality. Just, just type in a me. Yeah, right, right. Look at it. Could everyone feel it from everyone else? We're like, we judge it. We're like, that ain't enough. Hey, isn't it true? We judge it. This ain't enough. I've got to be there. That's what holds everyone back. That's what holds everyone back. You see? And so what, what I see is all of my growth happens when I realize this one key thing. The future is not better than now. That nothing in the future is better than right now. Nothing. And I need some of you to write that down. When you truly get to a place that the future is not better than now, that's when you're in the magnetic moment. When the future is not better than now, it cannot be better than now. It's not possible that there's anything in the future that's better to, than now. That's when you're in the magnetic moment. That's when you're in the wizard's gate. That's when you manifest whatever it is you want fast because you're already it. You're already it. true that's when you know and that's not giving up by the way a lot of people go oh, well you're just giving up like no that's like i freaking love right now and you know what i want this love to get bigger but it won't be better when it's bigger just different a lot of people think that oh well chris if now was better than then where would my motivation be <laughs> that's when you learn that motivation is temporary inspiration lasts a lifetime see it's not better that i create an amazing painting or build a bigger business it's just fun. That's what I'm choosing to do. But it ain't better. It ain't, it ain't, there's nothing better than that than here. It's not better, you see? It's not better. It's just different. You see, I still want to do it. I'm still motivated and inspired. And so it doesn't matter if I make a million dollars today or a million dollars this month. They're the same. They're the same. You see, and if I lose a million this month, same. It's the same. It's not better. It's not worse. It's just, it's just different. Just a completely different experience. But you fundamentally got to get to be the same. What's good? What did I say? Did I say something good? Let's get some feedback. I have no idea what I've just said. What was good? Everyone kind of said they loved it. What was it? Tell me what was good. I'm going to put it on a quote card. My Facebook team need it. What was good? <laughs> oh, it's not better. It's different. Nothing better now. Oh, look, you guys all said some different shit. <laughs> Look at that, Hannah, we've got so much stuff. We should put all these on quote cards. I'll have the face, <laughs> you know, those Gary V quotes looking all like, you know, awesome. We have to do that. We have to adjust the coloring. <laughs> you gotta let it go, hey, to grow. And so the one key to your identity that you've got to let go of first. The one key that you got to let go of first is that the future will be better than now. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. The future will be better than now. You got to let that go. That's part of your identity. You got to let that go. The second part that you got to let go is you're only motivated and life is only about solving problems. True. See, the first part of that we're going to let go of today is that, that we have a belief that the future is better than now. True. We've got to let it go. We believe that there'll be some future that could be better. Can everyone understand why that that belief needs to go? Because when we do that, we're just stuck in a pattern of not being enough. Right and true, if you get it, we must have the now be just as good, if not better than anything else, but really just different. So that's the first thing we've got to let go of. 
We're going to let that go of in a second. Is that, but our ego loves this hope, right? Oh, it's going to be better. You know, when I'm married and when I make a bazillion dollars, the world's going to celebrate me. <laughs> I used to have that like belief, right? I used to think, oh, if I made this huge business and, you know, ran massive events, then the world would like, think I was awesome and validate me. <laughs> you know what? The more I made, the more the world like put hate on my Facebook videos. <laughs> so it was actually the opposite. <laughs> and I was like, well, this isn't what's supposed to happen. Everyone's supposed to say how awesome I am. What? So, so it's funny. Life's funny. So we've got to get, we've got to get into that. Okay. We've got to get into that. We really, we really got to get into that because we must get out of this problem solving mentality. Okay, the, the problem solving identity is not the creator identity. And it's, uh, it's an epidemic. What do I mean by the problem solving identity? That's a, it's a really good question. I mean, the, the life that most live, that's just not painful. It's just not got pain in it. See, if I walk out there in the main street in any city around the world, you know what I see? People just trying to not have pain. Who can see the massive difference between just not having pain and living, living in complete joy and love and abundance? They're completely different. But most people are just outside of pain. That's all they are. They're just not, they're just outside of pain. They just got enough money, right? They got just, a, they got a marriage so that everyone else says, oh, look, they're married. They, you know, they're just healthy enough. They just like, they're just not in pain. That's it. And whatever their definition of not pain, that's what they have. Do you know what I call not pain? Numb. They're completely numb. Their whole life is built around avoiding shit they don't want to happen. That's all they do. They never go for what they want. They just avoid shit they don't want to happen. They don't want to be judged. So they never take a stand, right? They, they don't want to fail. So they never start anything. They never go all in. So they never get their heart broken. Right, that's what they do. They never go for what they love. Instead, they just play these safe little games. They never create their art or do these things. Instead, they get their safe job and their little box, and they they just say safe. And do you know where it all comes from? It comes from the identity that that I must solve this problem. That there's a problem. That there's something inherently wrong, and I must avoid pain. I must avoid pain. Who thinks that in their current reality, their current identity, they have a belief that they must avoid pain? Who thinks that that might be in there somewhere? Give me a yes if it is. Yeah, isn't that weird? Like we must avoid pain, right? Like, oh, I must not experience pain. You know, I feel, I feel like um, we've got such a judgment on, on avoiding pain that we've missed out on going for what we love. We're so busy trying not to not to fit, get any failure that we're missing the the love of our life or the amazing business or the freedom or this, you know. Uh, so that I see a lot of a lot of young guys, right? They in, instead of going for what they love, instead of going for what they love and experiencing joy and amazing business, instead that they're trying to they spend their whole time just trying to prove to others that they better, you know. Or they just, they spend this whole time just trying to, you know, not be in pain. So they just set everything up, got to get this, got to get that, got to, instead of just going for them, going for what they truly want. And, and it's, um, it's, uh, it's a big deal. Hey, so, so it's a big deal. It's a big deal to me is that we, we number one, we, we must, we must get out of the identity that something in the future we better than now. Who agrees with that? We've got to get out of that. We've got to be in it now because now is all we get. We just get you know, a hundred years of nows, now, 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 that's it. And so if you create an identity that there's something always coming, well, I think you'd be really disappointed when you get to the next life, when you just got to do the same thing. <laughs> right. And so you got to, you got to get into that place that now it's better, but still inspired and motivated to, to go and do what you love. So we've got to get rid of that. We also got to get rid of problem solving, right? We've got to get rid of problem solving. We're going to stop just solving problems. True. We're going to stop solving problems, stop solving problems, stop solving problems. And instead of solving problems, go, you know what? I'm just going to go for you. And I, and I want to talk about this a little bit. Guys, billionaires aren't void of problems. Billionaires are, aren't void of problems. The, the people we look up to, the leaders, the, the people that are really changing it, going for what they want, they're not void of problems. They didn't get rid of all their problems all of a sudden. Does that make sense? They didn't. And they, they definitely aren't without pain. You see, they go for it. And, and this is 
this is leading me into my third thing that I want us to let go of. So everyone's got the first two, yeah? First, the first one is, is that, you know, we, we must stop thinking that the future is better than now. The second one is must stop problem solving. The third thing that we must, must let go of is we must stop thinking that we have to fix ourselves in order to have what we want. There's a whole industry built on the fact that you got to be perfect and fix yourself in order to have what you love. Who's heard this before? Who's heard this? You got to, in order for you to have abundance, you got to have some amazing abundance beliefs. And you've got to, you know, you've got to understand this. You got to be able to do this. And if you got to have love, well, you know, you've got to tune in to the, the magical love frequency, you know? It's rubbish. Donald Trump is a great example of a guy that was able to get lots of money and still have self-esteem issues. True? True? Yes or yes? Is that true? So, so I, I just fight that with a fact, right? I fight it with a fact. I go, you know what? Most of the billionaire stories, when you read them, they didn't say, oh, I did all this meditation and I got into all of these things. And all of a sudden I, I downloaded this new code, this new code. And it was like money codes. And yeah, I got some fucking money codes and then like strap. And then, yeah. And then I was a billionaire. No, <laughs> they were like, you know what? Here's some value. I'm going to take it to the world. I'm going to take action. There's heartache. There's, there's, if you read Elon Musk's story, how many times that guy was on the brink of losing all his money, he put it all back in, you know, his wife's like, but he didn't because, because of course, right? Like he had to fix himself and be perfect to have the money. Otherwise, how could he be a billionaire? Right? His staff say that, you know, that he's a dickhead and all these things, right? So there's people in this call going, I know what Chris is saying, be a dickhead to make money. No, what I'm saying is, is that, that it's just not true that you need to fix yourself and be perfect to have what you love. True. You don't have to fix yourself and be perfect to have what you love. Is that, is that true? <laughs> Thanks, Ali. Is it true? Give me a true if it's true. If not, we, we can keep chatting about it because I enjoy this discussion. You do not have to fix yourself to have what you want. You just go for what you want and you arrive just as, ju just as you are. That's why you got to get into the now. Do you see, guys? You get into the now, you will arrive at the million dollars or the amazing relationship or the body you love or the world changing business or the, you know, the family of your dreams, you'll arrive at it exactly as you feel now. So you should start feeling good, right? Cause you're going to arrive at it no matter what, doesn't matter. You know, if you have amazing belief, it just doesn't matter. You do not have to fix yourself. You don't, you tune into what you want. You know, it. know it, you let go of who you've been and you act towards it. That's how you do it. You don't fix.